it's the third and final day of the 14th annual PSASA convention and I'm absolutely delighted to have Zanele Njapa in the studio with me. Zanele, thank you for being with us. No, thank you very much for having me. And Zanele is the winner of this year's Speaker Factor competition. So congratulations, congratulations Zanele. Thank you. I'm so excited for you. And uh, I must say, right from right from the get go, mm. you really, really stood out as someone having something really fresh and different to say. And I love that about you. I believe that you're a primary school teacher. Yes, I am. I teach grade fives. And you know, it's so wonderful because so many people in the speaking industry in this country come from a background of business, strategy, mm -hmm. leadership, etc. And here you come along with a completely fresh take on it. Mm -hmm. So what has led you to decide to embark on a speaking career? Well, technically, I actually have been speaking as a teacher. It's just that my audience has been, um, you know, runny noses and <laughs> having to pee every now and again. But I find that I actually have been speaking. And... All of those wonderful skills that I bring to audiences of a much mature age group, I have been practicing all of this time. It's just that I found that, that the similarities between children and adults are just so profound and we don't actually realize them. But there's so much that we can learn from them. And I thought, you know what, since I get to interact with this wonderful group, why don't I teach this other group that sort of taught themselves how not to be children? how to be children again. Wow, what a really fresh approach. And tell me, Zanele, how has the weekend been for you? Mm -hmm. Give us a little bit of insight into what you've learned, how you feel you've grown through coming to the conference. All right, well, it's my very first one, so I'm quite happy about that. And I had no idea what to expect. I think mm -hmm. one of the main things that I knew I was going to get out of this was growth. I expected immense growth and that's definitely what I got from the very beginning from day one on Friday arriving from Durban I felt that there is so much that I've gained from talks about how to conduct yourself as a speaker how to sell yourself how to land international gigs how to interact and network with other speakers and how the PSASA is not just any organization or association but one where we network and we give and one of the most important takeaways that I'm taking home with me is that speaking is about giving to your audience, to the Absolutely, world. Absolutely, yeah. without a doubt. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you this, maybe from the other way around, because obviously being a teacher and interacting with the, our beautiful little people <laughs> has, has <laughs> given you a really fresh angle to mm -hmm. bring to the speaking world. What are you taking from the speaking world back to the classroom? Okay, well, definitely what I'm taking is just those little techniques that we may not have learned um, as teachers, things like how to interact with your audience, how to gauge when your audience is not so interested. Right. Because um, in teacher school, you know, you learn how to work with children, but there are little subtle clues that children may give you to show that um, maybe the way that you're speaking to them is not working so well, the way that you're walking up and down the rows is not going well, maybe you're treating the boys differently from the girls, those types of subtle things about being a speaker and I think even the way that I conduct myself in the classroom I stand up straighter mm -hmm. I, I look them in the eyes a lot more and it's just it's enriched I think both sides and I love that you're asking that question because it's making me reflect at the moment as well that even my teaching in the classroom and my speaking are almost benefiting each other Right, yeah. these parallel worlds. Yes. And I bet I bet kids are actually the toughest audience of all, right? Because they they're so honest. Very critical. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I, I say this in my speech as well that I was giving for the speaker factor, that a little boy literally did tell me that my hairstyle didn't suit me. It's just not I working thought, for you. Yeah, he said, no, it just doesn't actually look good on you. And that's what I love. Because unlike adults, that when you mm. give a speech, obviously we give our forms at the end of our speeches to just gauge how everyone felt right. about us. But... The feedback may not necessarily be honest. For them, it has to be anonymous, but for children, it doesn't. Yeah. You can literally just have that exact same child, you know exactly who they are, and they will tell you to your face that, ma'am, I didn't get this because you were shouting at me or whatever the case may be, Right. which is absolutely such a breath of fresh air. An invaluable experience. Mm, Zaneli and Japa, thank you so, so much for joining us. We wish you uh, like just an absolute trajectory to the stars in your speaking career. I know you're going to do incredibly well and look forward to seeing you again next year and, and hearing how, how much you've grown. Thank you so much for having thank me. You. I look forward to it too. Such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back with more keynote speaker interviews. <laughs>